Hey there, welcome day 320 of the Daily Scare Share. The real frontier. What the heck is a real frontier? Sharon Hornell's from here, but you can call me Pajama Grandma. In case we haven't met yet, go and put hashtag pajama in the comments below. So I know it's the first time you're being exposed to me, the Pajama Grandma. Every day for 319 days, up until now, we have done one thing a day that scares us. One thing that stretches our comfort zone and gets us moving in the direction of what we really, really want in life. From the book, Do One Thing a Day That Scares You. You can see my book's getting a little worn out because we've been doing a lot of days and the cover's all bent and it's all written in and scribbled in and commented in and drawn in and pages folded over and feathers in the pages. But today, I love today because... It is a big sayings day. We're coming up on some blank line days, so I got to get prepared for that. But it's a big sayings day, and it says, Inner space is the real frontier. And Gloria Steinman said that. Our challenge today says, How I looked inward today. Now, I don't know if you know this or not, but this is so true. Everything that goes on around us that appears to be our biggest challenge, it appears to be the real frontier. It's a challenge, it's a real frontier, but it's what goes on inside of us, what we think, what we feel, what we believe, how we react to things that is the real point of creation and the point of difference that each of us can make. So no matter what happens around us, because stuff's going to happen around us all the time that we can't control, but we always have 100% control over what we think, what we believe, how we react to situations, and then what we choose to do based on all of our thoughts and feelings and beliefs and, and choices. It's always our choice. And that is, in the present moment, the only thing that we can ever do. The only thing we can ever do is and control. So all of us control freaks out there, you might as well let go and forget about it because you're not going to control anything except your reaction to everything and anything that happens. So today I wrote, I'm going to create tools that know are oh that I know are right for me. I'm gonna create tools and systems and processes and habits and procedures for myself that I know are right for me so that I can always be on that leading edge, that frontier leading edge of creation, which is me choosing what's right for me, me making decisions based on my own best interests that are right for me. Now I'm not saying that from a selfish standpoint. I'm saying that from the only thing that we as human beings are capable of. The only thing we're capable of is our own behavior, choosing our own behavior. We can influence, we can impact, we can threaten, we can motivate, we can try to do all kinds of things to other people. But bottom line, it's 100% up to them how they're going to react and how they're going to do anything. That's why I laugh when people say they're going to motivate people to do something. You can't motivate anybody to do anything. Motivation is an internal driver. Um, I'm trying to think. Willpower. Willpower is an internal driver. Um being um, ambitious. It's an internal thing. It's something either you choose to be ambitious about something or you don't. Either you choose to be motivated and take action towards something or you don't. No one else can make you do it. No one else can think for you. Yeah, there's brainwashing. Go there if you want. But really, nobody else can think for you and make your decisions for you and choose for you except you. So that's that's a pretty good one today. It's a pretty powerful one today. And it has huge ramifications in what kind of results we get in our life. If we stretch our comfort zone, if we choose to face whatever comes our way with bravery and, and courage and stretching our comfort zone, we're going to get very different results than if we cower in fear and never face things that come up in our lives. So what can you do today to strengthen your inner knowledge of yourself and your inner space and to make better decisions, make better choices, be more open-minded, be more you because it's all about being you and experiencing your life as only you can. Nobody can live your life for you. Nobody can experience your life for you. Nobody can feel for you. Only you can. And everything we do, every choice we make is actually based on how we feel about something. Think about that today. That's it. I will be with you tomorrow. Have an awesome day. Don't be scared. You got this. Bye.